Hi everyone, my name is Sarah Taffel and today we're doing another episode of UFDPM Meet the Students sessions. Today we have Brianna Benitez as our guest. So Brianna, can you tell us a little bit about yourself today? Uh, so my undergraduate background is in forestry, which means I love walking around and looking at trees and annoying everyone around me by pointing out what that tree is. I really also enjoy hiking in the woods and looking for mushrooms. And that's kind of what brought me to the DPM program. Awesome. So can you please share some of your favorite aspects of the DPM program? I think my most favorite thing about the DPM program is how well-rounded it really helps the students to be. I love that we have plant pathology courses that we get to take, entomology courses, soil sciences courses, and nematology courses. I think it, that makes the program very unique, and that's what really attracted me to it, because I don't see myself just focusing on one subject for the rest of my life. And that's good to get a lot of different experiences. So what kind of extracurriculars are you involved in outside of the DPM program? Outside of the DPM program, I do work uh, part-time at the UF Plant Diagnostic Center, which actually starting in the fall, I will be working full-time as I just accepted a position here as Biological Scientist 1. So I'm very excited about that, which doesn't leave me much room for other extracurriculars. Uh, as, as I mentioned before, I do like to go out and hike. And as I start taking entomology classes, I'm sure I will learn to love to start catching bugs. Well, congratulations. Um, so a lot of students participate in an internship or research while doing their D going through the DPM program. So what kind of research uh, have you been going through and why did you choose that? So I haven't really had much research experience. As an undergraduate, I did get to do some research, um, more like a baby project really. And I don't really get to participate in research here too often. Occasionally, we do have the opportunity to write a first report, and I have not been a part of one yet, but I am looking forward to doing that. Well, awesome. You have a lot of time to get into that kind of stuff. So right now, what is your career goal, and how do you think the DPM program has helped you or can help you to reach this? My ultimate career goal is to become a director of a plant diagnostic center. Doesn't have to be this one, I'm not too picky. I know the DPM program will help me with that very much, especially with the plant pathology courses. Well, actually all the courses would be very beneficial for that as you need to be a well-rounded individual when you are doing diagnostics. And you need to be able to recognize when something is an insect problem, an abiotic problem, a soil issue or a pathogen. That makes sense. And to finish up, do you have any advice for new DPM students on how to make the most of their experience? As someone who is quite shy myself, I would say, and it's really hard to with COVID going on and all the classes online, I would say really try to reach out to your peers. They only want to help you. They can offer some great advice on what classes to take, when you should take them, how to study for certain exams. I think it'd be, it's really good to reach out to your fellow students. Uh, another thing, and this is just kind of general, as I know almost every DPM student is very busy. I like to say that you should always practice self-care and make sure you have at least one day to yourself where you really just kind of take care of yourself. Well, thank you very much, Brianna. I appreciate you zooming in today to share all this information. Thank you for having me. I really appreciate it. This is great. And thank you to all our viewers for watching. So stay tuned for more episodes.